the young goalies out there need to know if the Maverick EKG, the new, the new version, the shift is for them. We're going to be talking all about it. Hold that bad boy up. If you could, uh, let's get a little glimpse of it. It just came out, just got released by Maverick. It's the new version of their chest pad. Uh, I know you've used the previous chest pad. And so it's going to be kind of cool to compare it. Um, you know, compare one to the other. I know you've also used other chest pads like the unequal. So we'll talk about, you know, the differences and some of the pros and cons. I think, you know, the first thing when we think about goalie chest protectors is does it protect our goalie chest, <laughs> right? Does it protect? Let's talk about the protection of it. It's got some cool features. Talk to me about that. Yeah. So like right away, um, when I, when I got this thing, uh, I, I put it on and I was a bit worried, right? Like it's really like minimalistic. It's very, very light. Um, and it's, uh, relatively, uh, thin and small compared to other chest protectors, but right away I noticed it's actually a funny story. I went out and shot with some guys like uh, when this came from you in the mail and one of the guys was a D mid and I'm not joking. The first shot hit me right in the, right in the side, like right here, right along the ribs. First shot of the day, just ripped me right in the chest director and it didn't hurt at all. Right. So I, from there I was impressed, but uh, first and foremost, it's uh NOSCA certified. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that acronym. Um, I'm you pretty this- sure you say, I'm pretty sure you say NOXA, but let's go with NOXCA, NOXCA from now on. I like it. That's the Canadian pronunciation. Yeah, I apologize. <laughs> you have this you have this massive breastplate and this thing's hard as rock, right? Uh so anytime the ball hits you there, it's not gonna hurt. Um I like you said, I used the older version um uh when I was in my last year of college and I actually had a fractured rib that whole season because um it early on in the first week of practice, as you can see here, where this is meant to go where the armpit is, it was a lot cut it was cut a lot further inwards and lower right so especially on your off stick side where you can get handcuffed sometimes if it came if it got in there right it would it would hit you right in the ribs so they really tightened that up um and then what i was really most surprised about and i haven't seen this in any other chest protector is if you look in there right the chest protector is actually hollow underneath the breastplate okay um so what the, what that's going to do for you is like right now I use the unequal chest protector like that's uh, I was really blown away by the technology behind that chest protector but even that one it could it could stop a bullet but with these chest protectors when you see a really hard shot right in the chest area right it, it, it yes it protects you but that force goes straight through the chest protector into your chest so sometimes it feels like you know you're, like you're getting a good slap on the chest right because mm-hmm. your chest smashes into your chest right um but what this hollow area does is it completely diffuses the force right because underneath here this inside flap is a it's like a pretty uh strong fabric almost so most of the force is distributed when it hits the plastic and then uh this stretchy sponge-like material keeps right i can't push it together right so this is net this plastic is never going to slam into your chest um and then that's a really that's a really cool feature because i know what you mean i've I've gotten hit right in the chest before and even though my my chest pad was noxa certified like the chest the 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 pads sit right on your chest and so like you said it is like someone giving you a good punch you know maybe a light punch in the chest and it doesn't feel pleasant um although it is a save so that kind of feels good right but uh, <laughs> but with this one, but this one, from what I've heard, like you don't even feel it. It's kind of a weird sensation, right? No, it's it's really really unique. I and I've used a number of different chest protectors. Um, and again, right, like having used the Mavericks last one and having a you know not a negative experience, but I did have I did suffer an injury um, while wearing it. I was really blown away because this is a, it's a more minimalistic design, right? But it's somehow more protective. Interesting. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. The chest plate too, that's like the most protective area as we're talking about, and they've enlarged it, right? I mean, it's bigger than the previous chest plate of the Maverick of the Maverick EKG, the previous model. Yeah. So like, this is a media, this is a large, extra large, right? I'm a six, one, uh, 185, 190 depends on the month. But this covers like basically the entirety of my chest area, right? The only thing that's exposed here is um, 
the side of my like pectoral muscle and then my armpit, mm -hmm. right? There's not, a, there's no like real estate here for a direct impact. And then on top of that too, um, they have this design here, as you can see, the, the breastplate is slanted, right? On both, on to either side. So when the ball hits it, it's meant to deflect off and disperse that force. Nice. Continuing on with the protection. So it looks like it's got a little bit of collarbone uh, protection, like up here at the top, but but no shoulder protection. Am I right there? Yeah. So these these things are pretty thick right here, um, but that's all you're going to get with this one. And you know how the STX, you have that uh, additional shoulder piece, right? And I think maybe even with the unequal, you can buy additions. Uh, this one, like all you're getting is that shoulder strap, right? So if you do take a shot off the, the, the outside of the shoulder, right. It's uh, you know, you're going to feel it. Right. Yeah. But that's kind of the deal we sign when we sign up for lacrosse goalies <laughs> Can't really blame a chest protector for that. It's worth noting though. Cause some youth goalies really do like, like the shoulder caps that some of the chest pads have. And if that's, if that's you, then that's not this model. So that's good to I know. Absolutely. No, I need to put myself in that mindset and not speaking right too much from my own perspective. Uh, because I, you know, I do fall into that category of like less protection, the better, because you're going to be able to move quicker. Yeah. But uh, I don't, I don't, you know, have too much feeling. I don't have too many nerve endings left. So we got to keep <laughs> the young, we got to keep the young goalies out there. Protect. <laughs> yeah. And those fresh nerve endings. All right, let's keep it going. So one of the critiques that the other, the previous model had was that side padding. I know, I mean, you've, you've had an injury maybe that, that was not related to that. I know a goalie that got hit actually in that and it, it broke his ribs. And so it was like really poor. And so I'm wondering, you know, have they beefed that up? Is it still a liability? What's, what's your, what's your, your take on both like the ribs and then like the abdomen protection? Yeah. So, uh, I didn't suffer an injury per se through the abdominal protection. Like I said, this was cut a little bit more in, gotcha, right. Yeah. Fractured a higher up rib, uh, just below the pec there. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I never really experienced any negative negativity with the, with the belly pad. I will say, um, not to take anything away from Maverick, but I do think it's pretty much the same thickness down there. Mm -hmm. Uh, one thing that I really noticed when I first picked this up was this belly pad is incredibly thin. Now I have, unfortunately I've been wearing this on and off for a couple of weeks because I knew this review was coming up and I have not. Uh, had the luxury of getting a really, really hard shot to the abdominal bib here. Uh, but I do, I am a bit skeptical, right? For those, uh, go for goalies that are in that age bracket where shots do have very high velocity, that this might um, not, uh, you know, completely reduce the pain that you feel if you get hit in the stomach. But this white strip here is hard. Okay. okay. So this portion is harder right than the gray the gray is is supposed to be flexible right so it can form fit your body but this white part right in the middle is harder all right so that that uh you know should help with uh, the impact there yeah one of the things you really liked about it was the fit right and just like all the different customizations that you could get which is super important right you could have like the best chest protector in the world but if it's kind of like loose and not form fitting you go to make a save and it slides away and like leads you vulnerable so talk to me about like the different customization and the fit options yeah so that was what really like uh really really stood out to me with this chest protector um because the last one, right, and again, not to knock on the product too much, but I did find it a bit um, uh, not uncomfortable, but it got in the way, all right? Um, so I think we're going to talk about the performance aspects of the chest protector later, but one thing to note is they shorten this belly pad up, right? So it's not going to get caught up on your jock, right, or like on your thighs if you bend down to get to a low save as much, right? Um, these straps here um, are higher, are uh, more middle, right? So they, when they pull in, see how they pull the whole thing, right? They don't just pull this top portion tight to your chest. They pull the whole thing flush to your body. Whereas the last one, it would come in here, but it would flap out there, right? You see what, you see what I'm saying? Yep. Um, so it's a lot more form fitting. 
And then as far as the other custom customizable dimensions, you have this spine adjustment here. So this will pull it, uh, this will pull where these side ones pull in, this will pull that up or down, right? So you can determine how high or low you want these um, rib uh, uh, straps to pull in. And then finally, right, the shoulders are actually adjustable too. All right, mm -hmm. so how, uh, how tight, right? How tight up to your chin guard you want it or how low you want to hang it, right? And this, right? helps with uh with sizing because one of the when i was younger one of the most stressful pieces of equipment to buy was a chest protector right because if you think about it with lacrosse goaltending it's really the only piece of equipment that needs to fit right people you can have baggy gloves you can have tight gloves they're still gloves all the same right a helmet's a helmet right cleats are like footwear but this is the only thing that can really like get in our way and kind of inconvenience us as lacrosse goalies so what having all these adjustable parameters does is they were able to sell two sizes only. They sell a small medium and a large extra large because it's so customizable. This can work for a five, like five, nine goalie, or it can work for a six, four goalie. Yeah. Right. And then for the kids as well. And I think I mentioned in the blog post, I can't, I can't think of a better thing for a parent who doesn't want to buy their uh, child equipment that they're going to grow out of in a year, right? If you buy the small medium, like that will last them, you know, probably like three or four years of even the biggest growth spurt, right? Because it, I would say it's good for the youngest youth goalies all the way up until a middle schooler, right? Because it's so uh, changeable. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great point. That's a great point. Yeah. Like as you're, as you grow three inches, you know, just do a couple adjustments and you can still use that same chest protector. Um, I know it's kind of difficult you know, fresh out of the gate to judge its durability. Uh, but just looking at, you know, how well it's made, um, you know, is this thing built to last? You, you think, you think, you think young goalies could, you know, use this for an entire high school season, a career? Yeah. So again, like I'm not a, I'm not a engineer. I'm not a project manager, right? I don't uh, design things, but I've worn like lots of clothes and lots of equipment, hockey equipment, lacrosse equipment in my life. Um, and typically, um, there's certain things that break down before others. So fabrics, right, break down. And this is almost entirely fabricless, right? This is plastic. This is plastic. This is foam with like a thin, thin sheet of like netting almost. Like there's no fabric on top of that. It's just, uh, it's like a mesh on the inside, right? It's all entirely foam. So you don't have like a fabric that's going to like wear away and tether um and then the other thing that i like about it is it's not too much velcro because velcro uh not only does velcro wear out and become less like good at its job it i find that also like sometimes with velcro like you throw something in your bag it gets all tangled up if velcro gets on the wrong part of the chest protector and you go to pull it off like that will slow you do that a hundred times right over a year or two and you're going to start to rip apart the chest protector or even other stuff in your bag, right? Like it's frustrating when a Velcro gets stuck on, you know, your nice new cleats or something and you get, you rip it up. Right. So I was really impressed. Like this is a snap, right? These are Velcro, but they're entirely like, you, like there's no uh, like visible Velcro, right? Yeah. Like there's no, the Velcro is on the top piece, right? The Velcro is on this piece. So even if I, you know, clamp it higher, right? This is not the sticky Velcro. That's the soft Velcro, right? The stuff that does damage is on the top one. So it's not going to come in contact with anything, right? And again, on the back, just a very, very like minimal Velcro there. So I was impressed, um, right? With the, I think it was a good idea to go with the clips here instead of the Velcro that comes around and sticks on here, Yeah. right? Um, the plastic is really, really hard. Um, and uh yeah no so i think that you know you're probably going to get as good of a uh a good of a career out of this chest protector as you are any other chest protector on the market that's good that's good i know exactly what you mean about that velcro i had a i had an old chest protector and we had these really cool like california lacrosse you know like the under armor um shirts and and like i would wear it underneath my chest protector 
and it was like totally frayed like right here yeah. as like the velcro was just constantly rubbing against that um against that thing and that kind of pissed me off because that was my favorite california lacrosse shirt no it's and it sounds like such a high maintenance problem right but if you're if you are wearing your gear every single day right if you're committed to your craft and like you know lacrosse is something that you're doing day in and day out right these little tiny like inconveniences really add up right so you you know it sounds like we demand a lot of these products and these companies but you really want something that's like as close to perfect as possible right so yeah um by the way i forgot to mention this is sponsored by lacrosse monkey they sent over this this uh chest pad for us to uh test out thank you very much to them definitely uh shop at lacrosse monkey those guys have hooked us up and i've bought a lot of stuff from them in the past and it's just been nothing but amazing experiences so lacrossemonkey.com and check that out uh let's talk about the look you gotta look good baby you gotta look good uh yeah you know talk to me about that look yeah, so I mean, uh, it's tough, right, with a chest protector because when you're in a game, it's covered. Or if you like to wear a penny when you're training or practicing, it's you know relatively covered. But you know, if if uh, if this thing is ever not covered, right, uh, lots of goalies, right, myself included, if I'm out getting shots or whatever, I'm not wearing a penny on top. Um, it, this this will like match anything, right? It looks really cool. You know, you got the ice white, a little touch of gray, and then underneath you got that you know that baby blue maybe not maybe ice blue right um but right away you know white and gray match everything baggy red long sleeve baggy white long sleeve like whatever your bag is right whatever your goalie style is um you know this is gonna fit fit right in right so um it's also got like i said um it's got that slim fit right uh you know, I've had chest protectors in the past where on game day, right? Pennies are, pennies are, um, you know, they're very loose or whatever, but sometimes on game day, when you got that, you know, real nice Jersey on, it doesn't have as much give and it gets quite bulky, right? It might not interfere with your performance, but maybe you see a picture, an action shot of yourself after the, the photographer releases the photos. And you're thinking like, what? Like, do I really look like that? Like, I look like I'm halfway to a box bully, Right. Um, so this, like, this will look really good under those jerseys, especially if your team has tighter jerseys, um, it will be like less, um, less noticeable there. Yeah. So I think it'll, I think it'll look really good no matter what your style preferences are. I love it. I love it. Um, and then finally, maybe not finally, but let's talk about price. Um, you know, there's no easy way to say this. These lacrosse goalie chest pads are pricey. And, um, I think one thing that Maverick has done nicely is they knocked, they actually knocked 20 bucks off the price. So you can get this at 150, 150 bucks on lacrosse monkey. Um, and when you talk about the range of goalie chest pads, here's what you're looking at shield 600, 180. This one's 150. Unequal pad is 160. And warrior nemesis, which I think they're discontinuing, is also 150. So they are pricey, but this comes in at the bottom of the, of the range, uh, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I've been doing this a pretty long time and I've never seen the like new product come out, not at the top of the price range. Right. Right. No matter what the product or cheaper. is. This one's cheaper, right? Yeah. yeah it, I was, when I was uh, doing the blog post for you, I went and like looked up again, the nemesis, the unequal and the shield. And I was like, kind of like, what? Like, right. you know, like. It's usually like when the impact came out, it was the most expensive. Then the Eclipse 3 came out. Now that's the most expensive, right? Like it doesn't matter how much money a company puts into something or if it's better or not. If it's the newest of that item, it's always the most expensive. Um, so yeah, like this is one of the, of all the top chest protectors from each company because the companies do have like second tier and third tier products. They might have less now because of the safety regulations, but when you look at the four companies' top chest protectors, this is the cheapest. But in my opinion, it's up there with the unequal as um, one of the best. Love it. All right, let me put you on the spot. And you got to you got to be honest. You got to be honest. What is what's going to be your go to now? You got the unequal. I know you're a big fan of the unequal, uh, but now we got this one. Which which one are you picking? Yeah. So I never like thought that that was going to even be a question. Like I was just going to wear <laughs> this ear review. Honest to God. And like from day one, I was kind of like, 
I don't even like notice that I'm wearing a new piece of equipment, right? Um, it's lighter. Um, it fits, uh, it feels a little bit better on your body. I would say they're equally as protective. Um, uh, the only thing uh, with the Mavericks that uh, I tend to, you know, like steer away from is this bib here and mm -hmm. i did mention in the blog post how they've really really revamped this and how you can see like when you go down for a low shot it won't get tangled up it's built to compress right there's a there's these two straps on the back here right right there yeah so you do bend at the hips right and get your head and chest down to the ball right that's gonna pop up underneath as opposed to like flaring out like this However, I do think I, just for our comfort purposes, I'll probably stick to the unequal um, just because it is that one solid piece and it, it sits, um, it doesn't get very low, right? And this one does get like right down to the hip level, whereas um, the unequal sits like almost like at belly button level, but I have a, I have a hockey goalie jock. So I have that high, high, like low, high jock, low belly protection, um, so I'll, I'll probably stick to the unequal just cause I think you're a little bit quicker getting down to low shots. Um, but like to, to be honest, not to like, you know, cop out of your question. Like I could interchange them any day and perform the same. I think like, uh, it's almost unnoticeable. That's good. That's good to know because previously when people asked me about chest protectors, I said, you know, the shield 600 is great. Uh, unequal chest pad is great. The only one I wouldn't recommend is Mavericks just because I've heard a lot of, you know, stories about people getting hurt and now they've upgraded it. They've made it cheaper. It's a, it's a phenomenal option. So well done for them. And hopefully they put in, in motion a trend where new lacrosse gear keeps getting cheaper, right? Not more expensive. Uh, Simon, any, anything else we want to share about this chest pad? I feel like we covered it all. Any, any final, final thoughts? Um, yeah, I think the one thing that, you know, and I'm, I'm always obsessed with performance and like being the best that you can be like, Right. You don't want your gear getting in the way of that. And that was the, along with the fit. That was what stood out the most to me. Um, I got some like videos I sent you. Right. Right. Like it doesn't hinder the off stick hip movement at all. It, it barely, barely uh, inhibits your like low saves. Right. Which is an upgrade from the last one, which used to kind of bunch up and get in the way off stick high um so i was i was really blown away with those two things the most the fit and then just your ability to perform right like you want to feel like you're playing without a chest protector on essentially right and that's pretty much what this thing does for you so love it we'll leave it at that um like i said thank you very much to lacrosse monkey for sponsoring this post uh lacrossemonkey.com that you can go grab this chest pad awesome option for the youth all the way up through college and we'll see if any of the PLL guys start using it. We'll see, huh? Usually goalies yeah. are superstitious. It takes a lot to, uh, it takes a lot to switch as, as referenced here with Simon, he's sticking with the unequal. Although this is, this is a great, this is a great option. Yeah. For like uh, almost no reason at all, but <laughs> there you, go. you know, all right, Simon, thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Damon.